My courtesy to our district principal in charge, Ma'am Bernadeth M. Custodio, and to the energetic school heads and teachers of Kiblawan South District, good day. My task for this moment is to provide you with information about Microsoft 365. This may not be new to all the school ICT members, but some teachers may not be aware of this transition that DepEd is currently undergoing, shifting from Google services to Microsoft applications, especially regarding our DepEd email accounts. Let's get started. On September 30, 2012, DepEd Secretary Armin Luistro announced that the Department of Education, DepEd, would allow all employees, including teachers, to register for official DepEd email accounts to facilitate easier and more efficient communication and information exchange within the department, as stated on the DepEd website. After 10 years and 11 months of partnership with Google, the Department of Education has already removed its email services from Gmail. On February 1, 2023, Google implemented storage limits in DepEd's workspace for education, Gmail, Google Drive, Docs, Sheets, Slides, and other Google Apps. As a result of these changes, all users of DepEd Google Workspace for Education will no longer be able to a. upload new files or images to Google Drive, b. create files in collaborative content creation apps, such as Google Docs, Sheets, Slides, Drawings, Forms, and Jamboard, c. Back up any photos or videos to Google Photos D. Create assignments with new files that have not yet been uploaded or created in Google Classroom, including the exporting of grades to Google Sheets. All emails in the DepEd Gmail and files stored in the DepEd Google Drive can still be viewed or downloaded. Starting February 3, 2023, all DepEd personnel will no longer be able to receive and send emails through the DepEd Gmail account. Instead, they will be able to receive their emails through their respective Microsoft Outlook accounts using the same email address. On or before January 25, 2023, the Microsoft account and temporary password of personnel without their Microsoft Autoped Gov.ph email addresses will be sent to their respective DepEd Gmail accounts. All users should regularly check their emails for their credentials. Now we all know that our partnership with Google has been terminated and a new partnership has been established with Microsoft. Let's explain what Microsoft 365 is. Microsoft 365 is a suite of cloud-based productivity tools and services offered by Microsoft. It includes a range of applications and services designed to help individuals and organizations with their productivity, collaboration, and communication needs. These include the following premium applications. 1. Microsoft Word, a word processing application for creating and editing documents. 2. Microsoft Excel, a spreadsheet application for creating, analyzing, and visualizing data. 3. Microsoft PowerPoint, a presentation application for creating and delivering slideshows. 4. Microsoft Outlook, an email and calendar management application. 5. Microsoft Teams, a collaboration platform for chat, video meetings, file sharing, and team collaboration. 6. Microsoft SharePoint, a web-based platform for document management, intranet sites, and team collaboration. 7. Microsoft OneDrive, a cloud storage service for storing and sharing files and documents. 8. Microsoft Forms, an application for creating surveys, quizzes, and forms. We already know what Microsoft 365 is. Next, I will show you how to activate your Microsoft 365 account. First, you need to go to your DepEd Gmail account. Next, search for Microsoft 365. Open the email containing the email and password. Now, let's open another tab in our browser. Go to office.com. Click Sign In and log in with your credentials. If this is the first time you are setting up, you will be instructed to create a new password and answer some security questions. Once you're logged in, you will see the home page of your account. You can click the apps on the left-hand side to explore the various tools available in Microsoft 365 to access your new email, click on Microsoft Outlook. 
all emails sent to you will now be located in Microsoft Outlook. If you wish to download Microsoft Word, Excel, or other apps for free, simply click on Install and More in the upper right corner of the home page and install the Microsoft 365 apps. Once the installation is complete, open Microsoft Word and in the upper right corner, log in to your DepEd email account to enjoy premium usage of the app. Before concluding my presentation, I'd like to demonstrate how to create a zooming effect in MS PowerPoint, which is perfect for class observation. Firstly, let's save this icon in JPEG file format. To do this, right-click, select Save Picture As, choose a file destination and click Save. Now to create a zooming effect, click on Insert, then choose Zoom and select Slide Zoom. Pick the slide you wish to zoom in on and click Insert. We've just inserted the slide we want to zoom in on into our slide 1. If we run the slideshow, it will zoom in on that specific part of the slide. Next, let's replace the old icon with the one we saved earlier. Right-click, choose Change Image, select From a File, and pick the icon we saved earlier, then click Insert. Delete the old icon and replace it with the new one. Thank you everyone for giving me the opportunity to share my knowledge. Always remember, the best way to predict the future is to create it.